dreamers! If this is your first time joining us, hello! My name is Adria and this is my husband, Colonel Munch. Today we're going to do a new feature on this channel, which is Japanese Culture Corner. Anyways, I got nothing. I'm we're sitting in a corner of our house. So today I want to talk about something special because it's the last week of March and March is special for us. Mm. Why? Well, both of it. That's right. Both of our birthdays happen to fall in March. I want to talk about the culture of birthdays in Japan versus America or versus the Western countries. Mm. But first, a birthday shout out to three of my favorite people. Happy birthday, Katie. Happy birthday, Alex. Happy birthday to a mommy. Happy birthday, you three. Now, back to the culture. So, in Japan, when I first arrived, I guess I expected birthdays to be the same. I had no expectations. And so I had a little bit of culture shock the first time I encountered someone else's birthday. I was very surprised because nothing happened. <laughs> I worked at a school and I was very excited because my closest teacher friend had told me that her license plate on her car was her birthday. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. It was a month after I arrived. So I was very excited to celebrate with her and maybe my other English teachers. And so on the day of her birthday, I had gone to the store and I bought her a little cake and I bought her a small gift and I wrapped them and I brought them to school and I put them on her desk and she was so surprised and so happy. And I was, kind of shocked that nobody else did anything or said anything or the students didn't know either. I made the cultural faux pas very early on of telling my students it was her birthday and then we sang happy birthday in class. But that was very strange for the students. If your teacher said, it's my birthday, sing to me, would that be strange? <clears throat> yes, dear. <laughs> yeah. It was fun for me because as a new English teacher in Japan, it sort of started a tradition of me singing happy birthday to anybody, including students, that would tell me it was their birthday. So when this happened, I asked my class, who I was very new to, you know, what do you do for your birthdays? Do you have parties? Do you go somewhere with your friends? What do you think the students said? Crickets. My students said maybe a little bit of cake at home and one present. And I was so shocked. One present? One? I would have no presents. So when you were young, did you have cake with your family? Yes. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Was it like a special cake? Did your mom bake it? Mm, almost supermarket cake. Supermarket cake? Mm, no, which are very expensive mm. in Japan. Did you eat ice cream? No ice cream. No, no ice cream. Mm, no ice cream. Sad. Did you have candles on your cake? Yes. Sometimes. What do you do with the candle? Do mm. you make a wish before? Mm. Just singing. Just singing. Happy birthday singing. Uh huh. This was the thing that shocked me the most. Well, they have the cake, they have the candles, and all they do is blow them out. There is no tradition of making a wish before you blow out your candles. And to me, I think that seems like the most traditional part of a birthday. Of course, you sing. So the same thing. Everybody sings happy birthday in english happy birthday mm -hmm. yeah so everybody just memorized the american version i was very sad that students didn't know to make a wish if we did a birthday party for someone in an english club like don't forget you have to make a wish and then blow out your candles let's say you're turning mm -hmm. 10 years old okay so you have 10 candles mm -hmm. usually in your cake 
Is that the same? Mm. If you don't, so one time, mm. is there any rule? Mm. So you have to do it one time? Yeah, basically. Basically. Mm. Otherwise, what happens? What's yeah, that's the same. Yeah. No. Mm. In America, if you can't do the candles, mm. the idea is that your wish won't come true. Mm. We try so hard to blow out our candles. Mm. Did you have friends come over or to your house to celebrate with you? In my case, so. not, not coming to my friends. No. Always. Sometimes. What about like family that was close by? The biggest difference was Pan doesn't really have parties. It's like mm. cake at dinner and that's mm. it. Mm. Did you ever get special food? Special, sometimes special. Sushi. So something you didn't normally eat. Mm. Who gave you presents or how many presents did you get on your birthday? Mm, always sweet from my parents and cousins. Yeah. Parents one cousin. and cousin family one, wow. cousin family mm, one. Yes. It's very normal in Japan for mm. parents to only give their children one present. And what I learned from my students was they usually picked out their present or they told mm. their mom mm. what they wanted. They usually would say like CD player or a CD mm. or boys usually asked for sports things mm -hmm. yeah i thought that was really different from america where parents buy many presents i think most children get anywhere from five to ten presents probably they can be mm -hmm. small things so the only other real tradition i noticed was i taught at a high school when it was somebody's birthday or maybe a friend's birthday students often would go to the vending machine which is called the jiro hanbaiki in mm. japan mm. and they would go to the jiro hanbaiki and they would buy like a bottled drink and so the student would have maybe like a line of drinks on their desk or like snacks from the convenience store <laughs> so i could always tell it was someone's birthday what did you do as a child we had big parties with our friends from school. Maybe first, our mom or dad would buy cupcakes mm. for everyone in our class. And then usually the closest weekend to mm. our birthday, we'd have a party. Birthday parties were really big. Like we had jumping castles sometimes like a big balloon that you can jump in we went to a swimming pool with our friends i'm from west coast america so we have some spanish or mexican traditions so we have like piñata do you know what a piñata is piñata is like a big paper balloon kind of with candy inside and you take a big stick mm. and you like hit it mm. and then it breaks and the candy falls and everybody can get mm. candy off the floor. What about cards? Does your family give you cards on your birthday? No, totally no. Totally no? Mm. But they sell birthday cards here. Mm. Look how fancy this mm. one is. <laughs> this goes with his baseball card for his birthday. Have you ever seen anybody no, no, get one? No. Yeah. So here's another tradition that I was shocked at. So I always gave my teachers a birthday card mm. and a cake every year after that first birthday. It was really hard to find birthday cards. Yeah, we always give cards. Like my friend from Kyushu sent me a card. My mom sent me a card. My friend in Tokyo made me a fortune and sent me a card to cards are such a big mm. part of American culture. In Japan, the only type of cards you get are filled with money. Mm. I'll put a picture of it over Colonel Munch's face. So this is like if you get married, for New Year's, kids get money, 
and you get a little card mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. just a money envelope it's nothing mm -hmm. students of course would give notes to each other but that's because they didn't have money mm -hmm. to give <laughs> but okay so if you went out for a special dinner mm -hmm. in japan on your birthday would anybody do anything for you at the restaurant like if you told mm. if you told the staff like hey it's my birthday ah uh, no if you said before mm -hmm. to restaurant mm, they prepare cake their mm -hmm. own cake would it be free i don't know free if you contact in other ones like contact in advance, like on the phone, oh, or oh, oh. oh okay. Oh, oh, oh. So you have to like tell them. Mm. Okay, mm. and that's like a restaurant. Restaurant. Nice restaurant. Mm. Okay. Have you ever seen, like, the staff mm. sing Happy Birthday? Mm. Really? Mm. One time. One time. Mm. Oh. I've never seen it happen in Japan. I've seen family singing. So I was very sad because there's no free stuff. Really, there's no perk to it mm. being your birthday. When I was young, we had Krispy Kreme in my city and we used to go and they would give us six free donuts. When you get older, if you go to a bar and you tell them you're 21, mm. they usually give you a free drink. Mm. But if you go to any restaurant and somebody in your group says, hey, it's Colonel Munch's birthday today. As long as that restaurant serves dessert, they will definitely bring you free dessert and put a candle on it. And maybe the staff of the restaurant will sing to you in the States. So it's very normal, I think, to take adults out for their dinner and kind of embarrass them in America. How long has Japan been celebrating birthdays almost like America, Colonel Munch? you researched this. <laughs> Almost one hundred years ago. So Japan kind of had two like big shifts in terms of birthdays. I was very confused, I think, that Japan has all these traditions mm -hmm. and culture and different holidays. I was shocked that they didn't have their own birthday culture, but we found out that they did have their own birthday culture. Japan used to celebrate everybody's birthday collectively on New Year's. Everybody turns their next age. But then in the Meiji era, which was about a hundred years ago, it changed mm. to be on everybody's individual birthday. Probably sometime after World War II. Mm. That's when it really changed. And so they didn't have any traditions and that's why we get birthday cake and a present. So if you have your birthday in Japan, don't expect free stuff. Somebody might sing happy birthday to you. Probably won't get a lot of presents or a lot of cards or a lot of acknowledgement in general from your coworkers or Japanese friends because nobody really cares. I definitely think if you invited your friends out to go to a restaurant that they would join you and maybe they would bring you a small gift but it would be nothing like the type of celebration that you'd have in America. So this is my birthday culture shock with Colonel Munch. What are birthdays like in the country that you're from? I think that birthdays are different everywhere and it's really interesting to hear about other people's traditions. So if you have a special family tradition or a special tradition in your country, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching our video. We're gonna enjoy our cake now. So while we eat our cake, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications when we post a new video every Friday and give this video a thumbs up. All right, keep dreaming dreamers. Cake time. Um, yeah, all right, I'm gonna make a wish. Make a wish. I'm excited. One, two, I get to go first. Mm. This tastes like Christmas cake. Christmas cake. <laughs> oh, this is good. Mm. It's not really custard though. Is it custard? Mmm, we'll come back to it.
We have located the custard.